Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you the results of Whisper by OpenAI. And that is a program for automatic speech recognition. So I'm testing now on my Racha Rock 5A. And as you can see, it has about eight gigabytes of RAM. And I do recommend that you try to do this on your fastest SBC or computer. So here is the GitHub page. And I will put all the links in the description of the video. And it's actually quite easy to install. So if you don't have pip installed, then you can install pip with this command with the assumption that Python 3 is already installed. But I guess with most Debian based uh, distros, it's probably already installed. Once you have pip installed, then you can install Whisper from OpenAI with this command. And you also need FFmpeg. So you can install it with this command. And once that is done, then you can actually run it. But here you can see in this table the amount of memory that you need for the different models. So with eight gigabytes of memory, that means that you can't run the large model. And I also noticed that it gets installed in your home directory in the hidden local directory. Uh, it starts with a dot, so you, that's how you know that's a hidden directory uh, bin whisper. So, like I said, if you want to run it with the large model, then you need 10 gigabytes of memory. So, let's just say we try to run it, then it will do an attempt, but it will kill it, uh, probably because it runs out of memory. So I also have a Racha Rock 5B with 16 gigabytes of memory. So on that SBC, it should be possible to run it. And as you can see that uh, starting the application it does take a while and the first time you run it it will download the model so every time that you use a different model uh, it will need a internet connection to download it but once it's downloaded uh, you can run this completely uh, offline so i've done some tests um, and one of the tests I did was with a Dutch video and you can use just a video file you don't need to explicitly extract oh. Yeah, so here you can see killed because it ran out of memory. So like I said, um, I already did some tests uh, with the medium model, uh, Dutch language. Um, so this is Um, 
seven half minutes and it's an interview so they're talking all the time and uh, it took more than two hours so that's why I said uh, yeah it's probably a good idea to use your fastest machine for this um, gets a lot shorter with uh, the tiny model but uh, yeah I think the tiny model is not really stable yet it seems too eager to try to recognize things that are not really there um, and I can show you that also with uh, the Cosmos laundromat from Blender and as you can see the medium English model file so you can um, use the explicit English model file that one is smaller than the multi-language model file and that took like one hour uh, this has less speech in it but uh, yeah so I can't really compare apples to apples or oranges to oranges but in general if you know it's English uh, it's better to go with the English model file um, so the tiny model file is of course a lot faster but it's like I said it's, it seems to be too eager to recognize text so yeah it's interesting that um, it can generate subtitle files so you also get like the timestamps um, so this looks okay but if I compare that with the tiny model file you can see that there's a lot of text here that wasn't really spoken so yeah like I said the, the tiny model file doesn't seem to be stable or at least not good enough for general use at the moment so yeah if we go back to the tiny model file then it says like in the first 30 seconds that it's saying thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video and see you in the next video and see you in the next video etc etc but that is simply not there So, yeah, that there was some wind. Uh, you heard the hoofs on the rock. Uh, a sheep that is choking, but definitely not the text that uh, was here. So, but I guess um, you can go with base or small or medium and if you have enough memory you can also go with large um, so if you have a single board computer with limited memory then yeah just take a look at this table which models you can use um, yeah I, th I think it's great that they actually allow you to use this locally uh, and for free like I said, once you have downloaded the model, so the first time you have to have an internet connection 
but after that uh, you can completely run it locally. So I guess we'll have to keep an eye on this if the model files and the program itself will improve and perhaps that I will also have a look at other alternatives and see which ones recognize speech better than the other one. So that's all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.